In Cambodia, agricultural residues such as rice husks, corn cobs, peanut shells or coconuts are available in large quantities and generally not used for any specific purpose. They are a problem for farmers who need to get rid of the residues. The interconnected electricity network is still relatively small. In 2011, only 25% of Cambodians were connected to the grid. About 300 entrepreneurs licensed by EAC, the sector regulator, have invested in diesel genset and supply electricity at a tariff between 70 cents and $1 per kilowatt hour. The very high price of electricity is related to diesel-based generation and to old and inefficient generators. In this context, IED Invest France and the Cambodian government have entered into a public-private partnership which consists in the construction and operation of a gasifier powering a mini-grid in Chachuk village, Siem Reap province and which supplies about 1,000 households. The power is sold to a local distributor, Mr. Dung Naren, who sells the electricity to local land users. An Indian company, Ankur Scientific, has supplied the gasifier and provided technical training with the support of their local partner, SME Renewables. Total supplies high-quality fuel to the site. The regulator, Electricity Authority of Cambodia, EAC, oversees all contractual relationships and the project is placed under the umbrella of the Ministry of Industries, Mines and Energy, MIMI. IND Invest has funded the project through its own equity and mobilization of bank loans. Partial co-financing support is provided by the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Partnership, REAP, focusing on some equipment, but essentially on project monitoring and replication. The main financial partner is UNIDO, through a project with MIME, as one of the areas of work of UNIDO, is the promotion of renewable energy for rural electrification. In the energy sector, UNIDO mainly promotes renewable energy such as biogas, uh, biofuel, uh, micro-hydropower and biomass gasifications. With this project, uh, UNIDO has entered an interesting partnership uh, with IED in order to construct biomass gasification system in Chachuk commune, Simri province, in order to provide opportunity for the local residents to have access to clean energy. So our roles in there, we are providing fin partial financial contribution to the project. Operating a gasifier is a complex process which requires management and rigorous monitoring of a number of parameters. First, rice husk is bought and transported from four different rice millers located in the vicinity, then stored in a warehouse. The husk is fed into the gasifier which will burn it at 400 degrees. For proper combustion, the husk has to be dry and not contain other residues. The gasifier burns approximately four bags of husk per hour and produces one bag of ash. This ash is then used as a fertilizer. Gas is produced from husk combustion, which has to be filtered before entering the engines. The gas is thus filtered and cooled by a water cooling system, which functions in a closed circuit. Through cooling, the gas temperature is brought down to 40 degrees before entering the engines. It then powers two engines, one of which is a 100% gas engine, used 16 to 20 hours a day. The other engine is a hybrid gas-diesel engine, used for the evening peaks or during maintenance and cleaning of the gas system. The electricity produced then reaches a transformer located outside the factory and is sold at this point to the distributor, who is in charge of customer relations, subscriptions, sales and collection of payments. ចំបាត់ឈ្មោះដងនរិនហើយគម្រោងអីសាងសង់ដែល <coughs> ມາເຄີຍກໍລົງນີ້ເວລາອໍມາເຄີຍກໍລົງນີ້ເວລາໃຫ້ເຈົ້າ
This project has a number of positive economic, social and environmental developments impacts. Autre impact social positif est que avant que nous nous installions à Churchuk, la production d'électricité n'était que pour quelques heures par jour et nous passons aujourd'hui à un service 24 heures sur 24, ce qui améliore donc la qualité de service pour les usagers domestiques, certes, mais ce qui permet également le développement d'usages productifs, qui est quelque chose de très important dans cette capitale de district. Alors, usage productif télécom, vous avez un grand nombre d'antennes et de relais téléphoniques qui avant fonctionnaient sur des groupes diesel et donc qui maintenant bénéficient de l'électricité 24 heures sur 24. Donc c'est un, une économie pour eux, mais également euh, des soudeurs, la conservation du froid, euh, euh, des services comme des services bancaires qui sont donc euh, plus amenés à s'installer dans un endroit où un service est apporté. Further, operating this gasifier requires staff and the project has provided I did 15 local jobs. As the process is quite technical, staff is regularly trained, leading to capacity strengthening. Environmental impact of the process is a major concern and an ultra-clean process has been implemented. The dry ash is separated and used as a fertilizer. Cooling water is used in closed circuit through a water treatment plant and no wastewater needs to be evacuated. Sawdust is used for gas filtering and all waste with star content is separated and burnt at high temperature in local industries. It's very essential uh, to use the rye husk because the rye husk in the rural areas is a, a, a bundle of uh, residual that uh, we cannot uh, uh, use and we use the rye husk uh, that we cannot use for anything to to convert the the rye husk to uh, dollars that we can uh, burn and uh, produce gas to use substitute uh, uh, the diesel. This project has multiple positive impacts, economic, social, and environmental. End users in Chachuk have a clean energy service. Further expansion of the network is planned and a new transformer was installed in July 2012. Once commissioned, villagers in neighboring settlements will also benefit from the power service. The Cambodian authorities, in collaboration with IED Invest, are considering the replication of this model to other sites. This project is a, it's, it's a joint partnership between UNIDO and the private sector, in this case IED. And we are using local resources in order to generate um, electricity for local people and uh, since Cambodia is, is a rice producing country we generate a, a lots of biomass um, so therefore uh, if there's an opportunity and if there's a need uh, we should definitely uh, replicate the project. Chachuk est donc aujourd'hui le premier gazogène au monde qui fonctionne 24 heures sur 24 et 7 jours sur 7 et qui plus est en réseau isolé avec un moteur à 100% gaz et avec une maîtrise parfaite de tous ces aspects environnementaux. Nous nous réjouissons donc de ce succès technologique qui a été rendu possible grâce à une très forte implication de nos équipes locales euh, dont ça a été l'occasion de renforcer les compétences. Nous sommes donc aujourd'hui prêts à répliquer ce projet au Cambodge mais également dans d'autres régions du monde. Nous sommes très satisfaits de ce premier partenariat avec le gouvernement cambodgien et du soutien très actif qu'il nous a apporté, en particulier le ministère de l'énergie, Maemi, et le régulateur EAC. Nous sommes donc prêts, en partenariat, à continuer à développer ces initiatives au Cambodge. Nous tenons aussi à remercier nos partenaires financiers, que sont RIP et l'ONUDI, qui nous ont largement soutenus à travers ce projet, et espérons donc être au début d'une très grande série de projets de gazogène qui nous permettront d'apporter un service aux populations isolées et d'améliorer leurs conditions de vie.